first nuclear powered attack submarine that we've launched for about 17 years. And so therefore, uh, it's, a, it's a huge step for us. Um, in terms of new capabilities, uh, she's a, a much bigger submarine, approximately 50% bigger than the uh, previous Falcatar, uh, which means, of course, she carries uh, a massive increase in payload uh, in terms of weapons. In terms of the sensor fit, uh, it's more advanced uh, than previous classes. Uh, and in terms of the propulsion, um, although the propulsion itself is, uh, is not particularly uh, different, um, there will be some big improvements uh, all along in the engineering department. There are significant challenges with the boat of this size, um, but I don't foresee any specific challenges with the additional uh, size over and above the propelled class submarine. Yes, she is uh, about 2,000 tons in displacement uh, greater, uh, but of course she's about half the size of a Vanguard class submarine, so we are very used uh, to operating submarines of this size. The challenge is actually in operating the new technology and the innovative uh, techniques that may be required uh, with some of that technology. The submarines uh, quite clearly operate uh, at the very highest end of the, the war fighting capability of the armed forces. Um, and therefore, uh, it's, it's the areas where perhaps uh, at the beginning of a conflict, uh, intelligence gathering, a submarine is optimised for that. Uh, she's also, of course, uh, capable of carrying the uh, Tomahawk cruise missile, uh, which can be used at any stage of a conflict, uh, right at the beginning in the sort of coercion uh, and the deterrent uh, bit where we would. Uh, just be posturing, um, but equally uh, incredibly uh, powerful if called upon to use uh, the system. Uh, you know, it's a missile that can travel 1,000 miles, basically. Um, and then uh, using probably in support of the, uh, the maritime task groups, the amphibious uh, and the carrier battle groups that uh, the Navy uh, operates, uh, we would be uh, in support of them. Um, and of course acting independently uh, as part of the key cornerstone of defence policy which is expeditionary warfare. It's a massive privilege to command her. Um, when I took over, say, a month ago, um, she was uh, uh, almost, almost ready as she is today, uh, but there's still a massive amount to do uh, before we can actually take her to sea. The first of class uh, has always been uh, an aspiration. Um, I commanded uh, HMS Pilot a few years ago, uh, and I thought at the time that that was the greatest honour I could have had. Um, but actually, looking behind me now uh, at this, you know, it's an incredible uh, uh, thought that we'll be taking this place to see. When I get to see the scene of Compton is about the 98, which is about 17 or so less than the Trafalgar class boat. But actually, in terms of my ship's company, uh, I will have about 140 people on the books at any one time. So various advances made um, with some of the engineering, which allows us to have less uh, people as well for maintenance. Uh, and up front, the uh, left people required uh, certainly in the weapons storage uh, compartment, uh, and, and a general sort of genuine attempt to drive down the manpower of the submarine. We don't actually go to sea, however, uh, for about eight or nine months, because between launch and going to sea for the first time on the part, the first part of sea trial, we've still got to do a significant amount of testing and commissioning, and sort of setting to work uh, of the system in the water. Um, we also have to undergo uh, quite a uh, same period of sea training um, with the boat alongside, practicing um, as if we were at sea, uh, and only then will be, we be effectively allowed to take the submarine to sea, uh, and that's going to be in the middle of March next year. We then go into a period of about 18 or 19 months of sea trials, although the key date for me will be the commissioning uh, and the target date for that is the end of August 2008. I would categorise the first bit of sea trial as the engineering uh, part, making sure that the boat actually works, goes as fast as it said it ought to, uh, and can dive as easy as she said she ought to. Uh, and then the second period is the fit for purpose, the ability to fight the submarine, testing the uh, torpedoes, the uh, missiles out on uh, the testing ranges uh, on the eastern sea of the uh, United States. The delight of the company has uh, uh, allowed us all uh, and our families, that's about 500 people uh, taking a winter out into the Devonshire Dock Hall on the day uh, to join them because I think it, it is fair to say the launch is the company's day, the commissioning is the Navy's day. Um, so, yeah, we're delighted we're all going to be there um, and afterwards we, uh, we've got a party arranged uh, in our sort of small little office complex uh, which is over the way.